to lead a hurry. Let's go. And obviously the most important thing of all is... Hell yeah. Bring him back. <laughs> Immediately, no question. Oh, the thing stuff. is, I don't know like if you misremember him, but I don't think that song was that high. You know what I'm saying? That song was not like the, one of the better Yakuza songs that we've heard. It's just a really strong one. It's his theme song. There are better songs in the game. That's yeah, just, like, like I thought I was. It was. It was fine. But yeah, I'm not sure it was worth losing the meow shoes. Okay, but all the battle music in this game is amazing. No, it's good. Yeah, like, you know it's good because I think uh, fun facts for anyone who's like you know in England or in the West. You can now listen to the full Yakuza Zero soundtrack on Spotify. Something you couldn't do up until about two weeks ago, because Japan's like, no, fuck you. And I remember I went over to Japan and I listened to it. And went, oh, it's just all on here. Yeah. I just listen. And I downloaded it. Like saved it on my playlist. Get as soon as I hit international waters, yeah. you can't listen to it anymore. No, where's Lee Sam? Um, believe it does the same with stuff like Netflix. You go to like America so you and download. Like, say a sitcom that we can't get over here. Parks and Rec. You can yeah. just say Parks and Rec. Yeah, okay, Parks and Rec. Um, but then if you fly back to England, it removes it. That's, oh, man. So annoying. So I am paying for this service. I understand it's not their choosing, it's licensing and stuff, yeah. But still, so fucking annoying. This guy's like, oh, man, Lee needs um, uh, some painkillers. Here's some painkillers for Lee. Please get too fast. Yeah, uh, no, sh <laughs> no shit that a gunshot wound hurts. I've heard gunshot wounds make a lot of people feel pain. Yeah. Also, look, no, at, all, look at all these real women on that like thing. Oh, these all like the. Um, they're all real, yeah. It's the porn star ladies. Yeah, it's the only reason I found out that all the real. Every woman in this game is like a real person. Oh. Oh, I forgot about this guy. A jaunty guy. Yeah, you'll love this dude. Thought so. How's it going? Making mad moolah. Well, actually, yes. You're the one who brought it up, smart guy. He's got money. <laughs> the bank of Magic Mask, I'm remembering that one. <laughs> Spent it all on that fucking so jacket. He's, so he's Mr. Moneybags. So do you know the guy we bumped into as Kiryu who throws money in the air? Oh, yeah. This is Majima's equivalent. I just forget that he hangs outside the Grand, but he hangs outside slightly to the left in uh, part of the map. Okay. You will never go to because it's a dead end. Oh. So unless you ever walk slightly to the left, you'll never see him. Like we did just then? Yeah, because I walked over to the left. What? No, he gives it away. Yeah, so people who listen to him just gives you money. Yeah. What else am I going to do? I can't agree. So he's like, well, I'm so rich that it doesn't matter how much money I spend. I always have more. <laughs> Played him a song or two. <laughs> you got it there. Why well, can't we call you Lord of a Night? So long story short, this is the way you swap money between Kiryu and Majima. Um, right, okay. They explained it earlier where it is. Um, he says, invest money here. And then when you play as Kiryu, it's like, oh yeah, the guy over your Camarocho investments paid off. Here you go. Oh, you're so worried like um, investments pay off. And the idea is like that he sets like a five percent fee. Oh, uh, okay. And he just lets you. And then I think after a while, you basically do it for free. So it's just earn money as one of them, send it to the other one. Huh. So whichever one you find it easy to earn money as, earn a shit ton as I imagine what Kiryu send it over to them. Oh, uh, okay. And obviously it's easier as Majima because you can find Mr. Shakedown. And apparently that item that lets you track down Mr. Shakedown, you can get as Kiryu, but it's in a side quest. Oh, really? I believe it's the Michael Jackson side quest, which... But you have to do a lot like, perfect or something. No, we picked the wrong box. Ah. And it's the best item. <laughs> of so, course we do. Because it lets you track down Mr. Shakedown, yeah, yeah. which means you can basically earn... 10... And as Kiryu, it's so much easier to kill Mr. Shakedown. Because he's got Rush style, and you can counter everything he does. Okay, so... He's just saying that I'm poor as fuck. I've got more money than you. Okay, so I want you to show me how to act rich. I've got live work to get paid and time is money. Let me ask you then, what's the difference if you look rich or not? When you look rich, you can hit the girls without screaming and running away. Oh my god. Well, maybe if you didn't walk up with that haircut and jacket, maybe they'd be like very different, but... <laughs> I love the idea as well, he's saying when you're rich, it's easy to get girls, like no shit. Yeah, like, probably. We just saw that on display in the previous cut scene of like, oh, yeah. I'm rich, so girls who aren't allowed to sleep with you might buy their job of risking getting fired to touch my dick. Yep. For that, like, million for every one minute 40. Worth. You know a girl who charges that much would be fucking awesome. So if you're, it's like a prostitute, you how much is it for, like, you know, one touch of touch, she goes, like, you know, it's like one million pounds. Like, touch that must be the best ever. That will be. The single best Todger to touch you'll ever get in death. Just one finger. Oh my god, he's just exploding money. He, he just like the money explosion. Cut my club as a customer. 
Yeah, I like that. I'm looking for girls. Like, why not just walk into the club that like you are yeah. stood opposite? Yeah. Where you could just pay girls to pay attention with you. Also, I um, find it funny that Saga was like, after all this money from him. And it's like, there's literally a guy, a guy giving away money outside. He's too rich to keep his money. I, I love that as well. He's like saying, I don't think I could spend much money in there. So like, we, we, a guy in there spent a million, a million yen getting a girl to touch his dick for one yep. minute. Like, ugh. So now I can now do the Mr. Shakedown thing. Not the Mr. Shakedown, the Mr. Money Bank's like, ugh. Invest in our fund. I mean, I think you're already doing the Mr. Shakedown thing. Yes. But the Mr. Money Bank's. Da -da -da -da. I love how long and like long winded this is. Where I explain it to you in three seconds. Yep. Where it's just you give him money, Kiwi gets the money. But because they now both have so much money, it, that side quest is basically useless. Exactly. Yeah. Although, oh yeah, he's not on my map as that. And there's the side quest for get a battery for that guy. Do you give a shit? Oh god, no. It's not an interesting side. Avoid story. that guy like the plague. It's a very just boring. like I'm going to avoid you. Why? What are you doing? I'm getting through. Okay. But Lucas, there is another side quest coming up, and this one we've got to do, because look what's going on. Lucas, do you remember? Do you remember this one? Do you remember Oh, the... no! Let's go talk to I Let's don't do remember it. the voice, though. You don't matter. It's fine. No, you don't matter. It doesn't matter. Help, help! Hang on. Ah, oh, that's not a beer. That is. We want to describe uh, to the people, Lucas. So this is, like, a sugar-free... Bubblegum soda. Which is the greatest thing to exist. Like, you know America has all this really crap soda? Oh, and they yeah. they have, like, all the millions of flavours of Coca-Cola. And they have all the soup. Like, for Americans out there, just Google bar bubblegum soda. And they... Not bubblegum soda, sorry. Bubblegum bubble soda it is... So, every American out there, Google bubblegum. No, do, do not Google that. <laughs> but bar oh, soda is, like, the best thing. It's B-A-R-R. And it's just, like... Really nice soda and it's got really good flavour and then it's like sugar free. And they do a whole range of flavours. Like they, and their lemonade, I contest, is the best lemonade. Yeah, and they do like cherry aid and lime aid and, all and amazing. bubble gum. It's all sugar free and it's all super cheap. It's like 50p for a giant beer can size one. Yeah, it's one. really cheap. But they only sell it in like corner shops and stuff because it seems like low end. Despite the fact it tastes better yeah. than Schweppes and all of the... Anyway, do you remember the voice at Suko the Obitarian? Help, pervert. There's a per. No, it wasn't that. That's the wrong voice. Uh, Lucas, just help. Pick a new voice. Hey, pervert. There's a pervert here. Well, that's wrong. We're fine. Let's go. Yeah. Well, you, you old said pick a new one. <laughs> you old shitbag. Who are you calling a pervert? And then Maj was like, huh. Right, fell right into her trap. <gasps> uh oh. Oh, he pulled a knife out. You dumb hag, now you really got it. I, I oh can't say anything, I've just, I forgot that he pulls out a knife. Holy shit. Oh, an old woman. Whoa! Now he's crossed the line. Eek! <laughs> <laughs> Nobody gets cute with the yak as a bitch. Suck on this. Well, honest, obviously, I can't let, I, I don't like this woman, but I can't let her get stabbed in the face. Who the fuck are you? <sighs> the, the eye patch fella. Hey, I don't. I know this old lady's a real pain in the ass, but you don't go. That don't. Like, one more time. Sorry, I'm so bad. Hey, I know this old lady's a real pain in the ass, but I don't give you the right to pull a knife on a civilian. Huh? Uh. Also, that suit sucks. Buy a better suit. Hey, buddy, I know you how you feel. I really do. I got accused of being a perv too, but it ain't worth it. Trust me. Let sleeping dogs lie. Also, a good game about crime. You know, Matt, 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 you, you are no match for the Obitarian. <laughs> Hell, I ain't either. Big dick yak as a man. But you try to tell me what to do. You mosey up and tell me I'm no match some old hag. You don't know shit, friend. You two can share a grave. Man, this guy's really, really mean. Also, street ruffians, there's one guy. I also appreciate that he's not yak as it. He's yak as a also, guy. Also, are you ready? Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> You're no match for me. End of <laughs> End of fucking fight. What a sort. Oh, I'm in Mad Dog style and I've got a heat move. <laughs> Praise he's cheap coming from a chump. Now get lost. <laughs> that this guy's mind. like, you guys have got no chance of sending your bro to the grave. <laughs> so there you go, Lucas. You're the bee's knees, eye patch fella. Bah, I ended up coming to your rescue without even meaning to. I kind of hate myself right now. Well... On closer inspection, you're a fine piece of work. Just like my husband when he was still kind of grabby. Which means, didn't she say her husband was dead? I think so. Or was it the other woman who said, my husband is dead? I can't remember. And can you measure up to his prime rib short stack or something like oh, that? Oh, God, and Majima, yeah. And Majima ran away. 
Oh, oh Lucas. my heart's really pounding. Oh, so the fudge bite sounds yep. a bit. Whoa, whoa, darling, darling, you creep me out. I didn't know any for any feminine wiles. Oh, but I gotta repay you to set things right. So, Lucas, do you remember when I said this woman's the toughest woman you've ever met? Oh, God, no. No, keep your candy laid here. I don't need a sugar high. Oh, I had something in mind much sweeter than candy. Is it the zoom in that sells yeah. it? Yeah. The zoom oh, in God. is so threatening. Huh? Come to Granny, you fine, handsome devil. Are you ready for this, though? Oh, no! no! She's too strong! She's oh. too strong! She just raped Majima in the room. I can't she? hold her off. Oh, God. Like, think about all the stuff you've seen Majima do throughout this story. That old woman. She's stronger than Mr. No, look. Shakedown. Majima's like, pop the court too early, sweetie. Nothing to be ashamed of. Oh, God, that's you. Go on. Pop the court too early, sweetie. Nothing to be ashamed of. It's been a while for me, too. <laughs> Woohoo, get a room, you two. Oh, please, don't tease. The guy at the count was right. The only thing to be gained from getting involved in upset is misery. The toughest creature under the sun ain't a pro fighter and it ain't a Yakuza. It's the Osaka and <laughs> Like, Majima openly admits she is the strongest, toughest person I've ever fought. Like, he openly says, I cannot beat... Oh, wait, speaking of people I can't beat in a fight. Oh, no. Well, the first thing I want to do is... I mean, maybe take Legend style off? No, because Legend style, remember, we've got the ultimate move. So we, could, oh, we, should, we should try it at least once while I've got full health. Uh -huh. You bastard, you're walking around with your long hair, swaying in the breeze. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I've just, like, mate, I've just had my Todger touched by, apparently, the, the cra most crazy strong woman ever. Also, I've just noticed you poured the bar bubblegum soda and it is bright fucking blue. Oh, yeah. But, but also, that's point as well, it's probably one of the best things I've ever had for mixing with a drink. Oh, God, yeah. For, like, making, like, um, just cocktails and stuff like that. Or just even just mix it with any Mixing alcohol. Mixing it with, like, it, rum or some shit. It like tastes vodka, amazing. Like, yeah. I listen, I found a super effective hair growth spray. And the problem is the price. <laughs> Thug stuff. The thing is, if you look at his head, it's so smooth. They modelled him with no stubble. You're really going to get it now. So I've now got... If I can do this, I should be able to kill him one hit. Well, it's, it's going well. I, I can take one more. I can take one more hit. Oh god. Oh, you can see the boot. No. The boot's about to land. Equipment. I'm going to equip this just in case he takes my money. Because if it kills me, at least he only takes half. So I remember what <gasps> happened the last like five times you tried to take down yep. Mr. Shakedown. So I've got one more chance to take a hit. It's The timing is so ridiculous. You've got to get it now. No. Like, you basically oh, God, have God. to do it as he's swinging. Like, You've got to just keep trying. Just it's, keep why, trying. it's why the counter moves in this game are terrible. Oh, my God. Like, the counter moves just don't work the way they're supposed to. Are you sure you can do it on Mr. Shadar? Uh, you can do it on every character in the game. Like, Kiryu did it, remember? Like, do you remember when we were Kiryu? Yeah, true, the... yeah. Oh, I'm in it. Well, in which case, just fuck it. Because this is the other benefit of, like, you know... Um, uh, oh, mad dog style, because you can just do that infinitely and you're invincible as you're doing it. Does it use up heat then? Yes, but it breaks through guards. And it doesn't have heat moves. Oh, it does, but they're not as good. But you can basically, because you have a permanent knife that never breaks. You can just keep abusing it. Yeah, and you get two free dodgers. Right, you see that attack there? Yeah. And you can dodge out of all your attacks, so it's very good when you are good with it. Plus, that like, armor breaking attack is just solid. Oh god. It's fine, I dodged it. Breaking your armor. There we go. Oh. Yeah, I had to do it. Also, you as well, you get the best down move in the game. You ready? Oh, oh my god. But how much do you think that hurts? He's just stabbing you. Yeah, you can also dodge grabs. That took up all your heat, though. But if you have full heat, um, and you are surrounded by enemies. It's basically the... Uh, Get out of jail free card. Yeah. Because you are, essentially, you just break through everything with it. And you see you can dodge grabs and stuff. Also, you basically get... Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh! oh! Carl talking mad game while he gets his face oh! slammed into the ground. Well, that's right. I tried to yeah, go for the counter. Did. The counter doesn't work. But I'll go equip the encounter finder, go buy a load of stuff, and just go beat the shit out of him. Because you just lost three billion. Yeah, but I, instead... With that thing on, you don't lose all of it. And that's the problem, because when you lose everything, you've usually lost all your healing items as well. So Yeah, because uh, you've usually used up all of them. Dragon and Tiger, so I need to go this way to get to the other side. 
Are we going Dragon and Tiger again? No, but I was looking at the wrong stop. Uh, stores were in yellow. I looked at the store and it was the um, Dragon and Tiger. Oh, so right. I thought, okay. oh, I was double checking which side is the drugstore, which is the one that sells all your heat move and bunch of things. Your healing items. Yes, your healing items that also restore heat, which makes them like just super fucking OP. Yeah, that's right. I wonder if he knows how many times he can make so. I wonder if he can. Oh, I can't sell anything. You can only sell stuff at the, uh, the stores. So I bought all that, but all that energy drinks make me want to go for a piss. So I'll be back in one second. And then we'll go beat up Mr. Shakedown. Yeah. Oh, I feel much better now. I feel much lighter. I feel like I'm more, like, you know, efficient. Oh. Come on, I'll talk to him. He's right here. You feel like this guy, Mr. Libido. <laughs> you feel oh, released. On. It's not like I don't go anywhere I can't go. <laughs> You're all on the prowl too, eh? Oh, yeah, because obviously I need uh, to get hot women for the place that work. Oh, right. Okay, yeah. Oh, so he tells you this. So he actually gives you tips about, oh, here's where you can find girls to go work at that club. That makes more sense because I was like, Majima's got the Obertarian. Why does he need anyone else? Uh, fun fact about that, you actually can go bump into the Obertarian and she does work for the club. No. She's one of the people you can get to work for the club. As like um, an hostess. escort, a and hostess. she's not an escort, mate. I forgot the word. <laughs> I forgot the word. Leave me alone. But as well, she's super. I don't want a cabaret club. Her stats are so good as well. So <laughs> I think we have established that Le um, Majima's legend style is good. The problem is the count is useless. The count is basically useless when you try and like use it against any enemy you can heal you in one hit. Essentially, making it useless. Also, the fact you can't use heat moves. Which are basically what you need to fight Mr. Yeah. Shakedown. Yeah. Now, what weapon have I got equipped to that? The stun gun. I think the stun gun does work on him. Oh, okay. That'd be cool. Every weapon works on him. It's just some stuff like you can't grab him. So the best bit is now, because I'm going to fucking beat him up. I'll get more money. Yeah, I can just do this. There we go. Did you do any damage? That did no damage. Yeah, but can you use it as a normal weapon? Uh, you can. As a stun. I believe I can because it's a hyper stun gun, so it should work on him. Let's find out. It seems way more useful to just use as a stun gun than to use the heat move on it. Let's find out. Maybe not. No, so he's uh, immune to the stun. Uh, he can't use. They don't have heat moves. Extremely sturdy pole. Uh, da, 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 da. Wait, so the broadsword not have a heat move? You don't have heat moves for swords, even though Majima um, can learn stuff with them. He has heat moves with his dagger, though. Yeah. You oh, can't. So you know, it's, I think it's the only weapon you don't have a heat move for. I can try it. I'm almost positive you don't have a heat move for it. I'll equip it and find out. He has like, I don't know, well, Kiryu has a heat move with an orange. Yeah. You think as well, considering that one of the things you learn is how to fight with Katana. Or yeah. Whatever. You learn a move set with it, it's not a heat move. So I'll just equip it and then we can just use it. You can try it, but it's kind of bullshit, isn't it? Like, you learn a move to counter with a sword. Yeah. Which I've not been able to show off yet because no one with faults had one. I think we had like one guy who we fought with a sword and then I tried to do the It move. was um so here we go. Oh you have got one. Yeah. Oh it's just the oh, dagger. It's the dagger one again. So then maybe this counts. Oh, oh. <laughs> so maybe this counts as a big dagger. Oh. So maybe swords are different to katanas. Maybe, yeah. Because katanas are their own class of weapon. And I've got one. The Sakura Storm. So we'll try that after oh, god, you fucking prick. Oh no! Oh. So, he's not your Super Saiyan mode. Um, that was brutal as fuck. Can yeah. we just point out? Yeah, it was a sword. Dodge. Let's, let's try it, because I believe Sakura... Yeah, can you see no triangle? Ah, uh, yeah. You do get a unique moveset with it, but... The problem is, because obviously against a guy like this, mm -hmm. who you don't want him to ever hit you... All those when you've long got... animations are just a bit useless. So you do get one with the... Uh, Brawl yeah, sword. fuck it. Just use that like a dagger. It must just count as its own thing. <laughs> it just look really funny though when you like look at how far it goes. In. <laughs> it goes all the way through him. <laughs> That's so. Well, at least brutal. I know that. At least I know broad swords do that. Yeah. Excuse me, Mr. Shakedown. <laughs> Can you imagine? He's like, oh god, I think I'm okay. It goes all the way through. His it goes through him. It goes yep. completely through his completely. stomach. Completely. So obviously it's just the same animation. Like he kicked that entire broad broadsword right through his body. Yeah, it's fine. He'll be alright. He'll walk it off. No, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> just the traffic cone. 
What does what do people think? Just beat you know this giant man with a traffic cone. My okay. question is, why don't they have the dead rise and have just put the traffic cone on his head? Oh, that'd be so good. Just punch him in the face. Oh, he doesn't have one. Majima doesn't have a heat move for these, but Kiryu does. Ah, uh, because Kiryu does like the uppercut, doesn't he? Yes. The maths will work, Jagger. Yeah, well, you know it's good as well. Fuck oh, off. Gonna... <laughs> like, come on, Majima. I was going to pick up the cannon. Oh, do you see how I stabbed him yeah. as I pulled the knife out? It counted as a hit. Oh my god, that did some damage. That really did. Yeah, because like, knives are Majima's weapon, where uh, the knuckles are Kiryu's weapon. Yeah. So I forgot how much damage actually Majima does with a Naga. Because it's his weapon of choice. It is. It's like unique set. Because Kiryu can deflect swords with when he wears them. Um, you know uh, what? The fist things. You know what? What? 10 billion, baby. Not bad. 10, 10 billion. billion. I'll shave you like a pig. That's the thing is, we lost 3 billion, but then gained 5 billion back. It is a legitimate tactic. You yeah. Miss, lose to him once, and then just come back and use heat moves and beat him. Oh. A man like using um, Kiryu, if you have that finder. Oh. Must That'd be, be yeah. ridiculous. Because think how, how quickly you kill with the counter move. Yeah. Because you get full heat every time you dodge one hit. You dodge one hit, get full heat. So as long as you never get hit, you do more damage. Fuck me. With the knuckles on as well, which don't break as long as you're not in um, uh, I think you can get ones that never break, so you basically just do an extra 40 damage on every single hit. Well, you're dead. That's right to the centre of the chest as well. I'm pretty sure that you just collapsed his like, rib cage in on himself. If I did it, oh, he's lucky. He'll live, but he won't live well. He does the Batman. Get here. Kill. Kill. You'll survive for now. It's fine. <laughs> it's my favourite one because he, he lifts them into yeah. the air. He kicks them like a football. Give me that. Alright, who else wants some? Get up. Okay. <laughs> I'll let him do it because fuck you. I just kick him in the chest. That that was like fucking villain moment of like, you have not witnessed my ultimate power. Oh, and then just kick him out of the guts. <laughs> just the clown He's guy great, in the man. background. Oh, he faded away. Oh, no. I like this guy who came around the corner. Like, yeah. I'll help. <laughs> I'll be honest. Don't mate. worry, guys. I've got this. He's like, I'm gonna help. You're really, really not gonna help. You wanted this. You wanted this. You wanted <laughs> this. <laughs> Who's next? He's dead. He's dead. Hold on. Stop, Majima. Stop. I've got my Tekken moveset coming in. Even that Tekken soundtrack. Yeah. <laughs> Just see that one. Oh, the full flip. <laughs> oh, God, no. What do I want? Chinese broadsword. Put it right through him. Uh, or the uh, pole. The, right. the pole is very funny. And it is like the unbreakable one. Oh, oh. oh, oh right in the center. Uh, oh, right in the metatarsal. Don't no play football for you. Oh. <laughs> it's right in the center of the face. No, no living anymore. And the extremely sturdy ones never break. And that's why if you get out of the extremely mega sturdy fists and give them to Kiryu, you, you basically can't lose. <laughs> Nothing can beat him. Now, you are essentially invincible because all of his, I think, rush style has about three separate things that power those up. Oh my god. Including, oh my god, how many people are around this area? Oh, because I'm wearing the encounter finder, so I know. Oh, uh, yeah. So I can see where every encounter is. Uh, it's to your left there. And I'm also wearing the boots that might be more likely to fight me. So just everybody in the world is like, yeah. you know what? This guy looks like he wants to fight. I min maximum Majima for optimum combat. <laughs> I was taking a sip as I did that. I was, that was very, also, look how Makoto sat. Do you know what that is? That's the I'm waiting for a bus sitting there. That it's is really the there. I forgot to animate this model. <laughs> oh, nothing to report. Good. Got something to pass along to. Some painkillers. Mahjong Jambalaya. That's a strong name for a player. Mahjong Jambalaya. But I know, how tough is this guy? He's so tough. I got shot and I'm fine. You got shot like five times. And he's like, oh, do you didn't want these painkillers for you? <laughs> no, fuck you. Going on. Did something happen? Yeah, you died. So, yeah, you're dead now. Don't worry about it. <laughs> also, you should probably take off that uniform. Because you're wearing a uniform for someone who's technically dead. 
all happening because people are happy, right? But she probably did gather that, considering like she got attacked by random people. Uh, also, is she not questioning the fact that he drugged her last time we were here? <laughs> Maybe she just fell, she fell asleep. Just, oh, this tastes really nice. Maybe she just thought she was. Oh, tired. I was really tired. Yeah, I needed a nap. So the guys going to get you with a hug, Kaiken? <gasps> yeah, I do. Considering it's like the last thing I did that wasn't inside this room. So, here we go. Ask me to hand you over. Uh, so I'll leave like this close to snap in Majima's neck in three seconds. Yeah. Uh, if you say one more thing that I agree to, I will kill you where you stand. Cops picked him up before I could get an answer. Shit. <sighs> Part of the same group as the guy who hired me. Exactly. So it's the law done. Yeah. So they can't have that back. Even within the, like, the strictly yeah. hierarchical uh, structure of the Yakuza, people are still in disagreement about what the hell they want to do. Nishitani the Naba, Sagawa the Killer. Joe, you know they are two nicknames that would never catch up. <laughs> so right now, Sagawa's our biggest problem. I'm pretty sure he's wise to the fact that I didn't kill his girl. It also, as well, gets you out of the moral ambiguity of, oh man, if Lee Sam killed her, would you still like, want to play, like, have him on your team? Even though he admits to already killing people, but because he's not done it in this story, you kind of forgive it. Because, like, in the last one, it's, oh, I'm going to murder her. It's like, don't do that, yeah. because I already have. I'm going to matter of time until Sagawa finds you. Let's play safe. I'm sure this guy with all these criminal connections has somewhere safe he can hide. Come on. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, because I think that's so you got a good point. There. That's no life, that is it. Like constantly waiting to get shot in the back of the head. No. Especially when you're behind. Like we don't even know it's coming. Exactly. It must be. So, they must have thought it would be so easy. <laughs> I think we said that, didn't we? When yeah. like, Majin Moon counts, oh man, I've got to kill a blind girl. Oh, he, it's going to be the easiest job in the world. He actively pulls out the knife. He's got the knife ready for the stab, and he's like, oh man. This will be so easy. Oh, we're in cutscene mode now. Budget's gone up. Also, he's been doing all this in fucking flip flops. What hero? Now, I think you're going to be pretty safe travelling with this guy. Oh, fuck. Please don't be Stagwell. Please don't be Stagwell. I can't remember if it is. Oh, it's this guy. It's fine. He's dead. Oh, he's been shot. Oh, he's doing that. He's doing the betrayer walk, innit? Are people going to walk in behind him? I'm so sorry. Yeah, he, he, he's betrayed us. Yeah. That's, that's the looking down at your feet. I don't want to make eye contact. I sold you all out. Very hard. Chinese live in Japan, even though I've got a job as a doctor selling black market painkillers, which have probably got an exorbitant mark upon him. Oh, it's to sell, sell her out. Yeah. I sold you the fuck out. Also, why would you sell, of all the people you could sell out, why would you sell out this guy? So now they're coming in to beat us up and take the girl. But I'd just like to say, of all the people. Right, you sent four homeless looking dudes into defeat. No, they're the people who are watching me, aren't they? Oh, yeah. So he's, they're the people he's watching me. So he sold us out to the people who've been watching me. Yeah, look. Yeah. So they're not like homeless people, they're like the people who've been keeping an eye on me in the Yakuza. I mean, I'm pretty sure that guy's up. So yeah, they're Sagawa's thugs. But you send four guys to deal with these two? Nah, it's not happening. Only one of them's got a fucking weapon. Oh! Well, at least he learned his lesson yeah. quick. That's exactly what happens when you sell oh God, as well. That is probably the most. Oh. That's about as bad as it's got for anyone in this game so far. Yeah. Because that's a crowbar. Yeah. Wow, that would hurt so much. Imagine having your ribs pulled from the inside. Oh. I love this idea that Imagine was like, I'm so pissed. These guys, I've not been able to masturbate yeah. in three <laughs> fucking months. Because every time I do it, I can see that bald guy. Staring through my goddamn window. That guy with the fucking cap on top of the fucking roof. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh man, please, turn the music up. Lucas, are you ready? Oh, this is so good. <laughs> Let's go. 
And they've all got a weapon. They've all got their own weapon. But I've got my own weapon. Oh, oh god, god, no! You know, you got two of them. Right, I need to. Uh, Icky Gammy. I need to weaken these guys up. Oh, what you got? Give me that. Fuck oh. you. No knife. So let's uh, sort this out, shall we? Fuck you. I like how I kick myself at him. Get down. <laughs> Fuck you. You know what I That's when someone like kicks um, like the chair at somebody to knock them over. Well, you, still, well, you can do that. That's like yeah. one of the things Majima can do. Oh god, back of the head. Give me that. So oh. Let's disarm them all first and make it a fair fight, shall we? Also, what does that look like to Lee? Yeah. Why is Lee not participating? He's protecting him. Yeah. Sure. So obviously, that anyone at any time they could walk over and kick him in the face. Let's go. So I don't think I can take that gap. Yeah, I can't take his crowbar off him. Not yet. I was wondering, can I? So let's just make sure that he can't fight me with it. <laughs> with the knives, I can disarm people with, not them. But crowbar's like a special weapon for this guy. No, it's not, because I can pick it up. You're ready. Have a sofa. There we go, my crowbar. Oh! <laughs> oh man. Are you ready, mate? Oh! <laughs> right, who else wants some? Oh, you know what's happening. Yeah! I was actually going to try and throw him away, like, gently. Oh, and then I was okay. going to pick up the sofa, because you get a heat move with the sofa. I was like, I didn't expect that to be the, your finishing move. No, I was trying to, like, throw him oh, to god. the other side of me. Oh god, he's going to exterminate me. And the worst bit is, as well, he's a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Heal yourself! Do you know what you should do at least? At least get in the painkillers. Yeah. So he probably <laughs> needs them right now. I don't think he's going to be alive enough to have them, like, kick in. Well, it's that, that thing of, like, that always happens like, Vietnam movies and World War II movies, where you have, like, that scene of the medic, and he comes back in from, like, No Man's Land. Mm. He goes, oh, did you help anyone? He goes, no. What were you doing then? I was injecting people with morphine. Why? Oh, God. To kill them. Because w w I don't want to hear them screaming yeah. anymore. It's like, oh, that is so brutal, but yeah, well, we did. They've got no, they've got, like, no arms anymore, and they're just screaming and bleeding out. Yeah. It's brutal as fuck, but it had to be done. Oh, here we go. He's gonna die. Oh, yeah, clearly. He got stabbed in the chest with a bloody crowbar. So this is the this is why uh, Lee didn't take her. I've got to take her. Alright, I guess I will. Make for the one place that they all know she is. <laughs> well, to be fair, that's a pretty good way of doing it, isn't it? Like, where's the last place you'd expect them? The, the first, first place yeah. you'd look. Always the way. The no mix-up mix-up. No one ever expects you to do the same thing twice. So it usually works as things like throwing out rock three times in a row. You're playing rock, paper, scissors. Let's go. And they'll never catch me. Though he has got a point of this guy has basically told the entire Yakuza where you are. Yeah. Like, we need to go. I am. Um, I do like the whole saying, though. Oh, oh it's always in the last place you look. Well, yeah. Because then you stop looking. Well, it is, there is a, like some logic to it of. The last place you're going to expect is the most obvious place. Because you'd expect that you've already looked there. Yeah. Except I've been playing through Final Fantasy VIII recently. There was a bit in the game where, like, oh, we're looking for your headmaster. And we try, we're looking for him to kick the shit out of him. Mm. Where is it? And he's just in his office. Oh. Because obviously the last place you're going to expect it, oh, he's hiding. No, he's not. Yeah. He's in his office. But if you think he's hiding, you're not going to check. He's yeah. why, would, why would any idiot... If he's on the run, why would he be exactly where he's meant to be? Exactly. But it's such a smart thing to do. So this is like the final bit of this chapter. So that's probably why we had that. Chapter. Oh, okay. Because yeah. now it is. Just another... Oh, also, this is why I wanted the music turned up. This is the escape music. Oh, How good is this escape music? This sounds pretty good. Like, this escape music is fucking awesome. Also... Oh no! Oh, it's just the pole. But it counts as like, yeah, it's like a railway sleeper thing. Oh, oh he's dead. Oh, it's oh, a traffic cone connector. That's me. I did not know that was a thing. But obviously, like, you get the unique moves. Oh with yeah, it. yeah, they are. Yeah. The problem is though, because these moves sets are usually. Wow, tank. you've just like killed her. Yeah. No, she can't take any damage. No, Carl, you can't. Get the fuck that off. pole was inside of her. It's annoying that you can't grab them when they do that. Yeah. I still make them. It's fine, you ready? Whoa! So cool. You need animation as well, you only get that when you fight her. Like when, when you, you fight her? No, sorry, you only get that when you fight with her. Carl, please don't fight her. So as you're all those, like, She's unique, also got the help. Like, the unique ones I showed you when you uh, have Kiryu teamed up with uh, Nishiki. Oh yeah, yeah. And you only get them when you play with him. And you can just run straight to your objective and never see those. 
Oh. Oh, I was kind of hoping the theme song would keep playing because that theme song like super dope. That was good. It's, it's a really good one. Oh, oh yeah, because every time it puts you into a separate fire encounter, doesn't it? Yeah. Does still, uh, her health stay the same? I can't remember. I hope not. But it's fine. Can you remember? Oh, yeah, we should hide. Meow, 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 <laughs> meow, meow. <laughs> as long as we don't move, we're fine. Oh, it's playing now. In fact, can you hear it? It's, it's playing just a lot quieter. Like, yeah. Timid version. It's fine. But hey, I recognise that meowing sound. They no, don't. So these are few and far between, but because they're really easy, it's not that big a deal. I mean, we struggled with the last one. It's because though I was just fighting everybody, not yeah. realising that if they grab her once, it's on hard mode. It. Oh my god, look, the pathing's not great there, is it? No. They're gone. Yeah, don't worry. Look. We just go this way. Cause we, the thing is, when we're in the encounter finder, I can actually see them on the map. I didn't realise uh, that. Yeah. That's the upside of it. Because we're going towards... Um, uh, we know that there's actually no one in front of us, we can just head straight there, look. Well, there's no way to hide now. There is. Oh yeah, there's somewhere down there. Yeah, we can see him. Oh wow, and we can literally... Oh. Just go straight there, so we go through the back entrance. Oh, are you ready for this, though? I love these little cutscenes. Are you ready? Shh. Don't worry. Lucas, are you ready? What is he doing? It's time. It's time for Magna. What am I going to do, Lucas? I don't know. Oh. Oh! <laughs> break his neck. Oh! Majima never killed anyone. No, never. It's fine. He's sleeping. But you get those. I think you get those if you try and go the sneaky ways. Uh, but I can just walk this way. Oh, man. This um, uh, encounter find has really trivialized this moment. Yeah, a little bit. Because I just know the, where the enemy is. No, you're in the wrong way. I can see them right there. Well, yeah, I think we have to do that. By the looks of it, yeah. So. so they're not on your encounter finder? And they're just there. They're just the wall. The squad. Throw away the same suit. Why Man are the bus. two guys on the left like the exact same? It's fine. And he's changed. Oh, God. He's Magic. had the glasses. Oh, she got full. So it's all the same era. Oh, shit. Oh, just don't let him get near her. Fuck away from her. Like, kick his leg off. There we go. I do like that yeah. Majima has like the back attacks and stuff, which you don't often use in this game. But in that situation. That one was actually super useful. I kicked him straight to the floor. Did yeah. you see it? Do not get up. Do not get back up. You die now. No! <laughs> like as well, that guy's probably on the floor and he's watching me run over <laughs> to his mate. Do not. And just punt him. <laughs> Leave her alone. That was actually pretty cool. Like, I kicked him in the ankle and he went straight down like a sack <laughs> of shit. <laughs> yeah, I did it. Was Why is he like out of breath fighting three guys? That's what I don't get. It doesn't make any sense. Like, like he's constantly fighting armies of men, and then it's like, oh no, not three basic guys. The power scaling of the Yakuza series is very, very weird. It's like basically Dragon Ball. Like, oh, Goku can fight like you know gods, and then he's like for the uh, what, tournament arc, he goes and fights Android Seventeen, and like Android Seventeen is giving him trouble. Yeah. Really? <laughs> this guy. And then it's just like, oh, I see you've trained. By defeating, like... People with guns. Yeah. Basic humans. I also don't like how Majima's so rough with fucking Makoto. Yeah. Like, he doesn't go up to her like she's fucking blind. Like, he doesn't do, like... To be fair, I think he's... Oh! Oh, no. I, I forgot about that. I forgot that lead just explodes. Well. I don't think painkillers are going to help out on. As well, wouldn't it be really cool if he just got out now on fire like a Terminator? Like the Terminator, the, the T-800. I thought you said he was in other games. No, he's not in anymore. Oh. I said he's not in any other games. But also, he's fucking dead. I didn't realise that happened. I completely forgot that he just closed Shit. up. Well, yeah. Oops. I'm pretty sure she's fine. Uh. She don't look alright. Look directly at the explosion. At least she knows she doesn't want to go blind from the explosion. Imagine him on the other hand. Fucking Maybe hell. it'll, like, unblind her. Oh no! Is this dickhead? No. Well, I think he saw through all eyes. He did. You are the worst, buddy. I'm not your buddy, guy. I'm not your guy, friend. I'm not your friend, buddy. I'm not your buddy, guy. Yeah, it's, the, it's the best thing South Pass done in like the last 10 years. <laughs> like, everything they do about Canada is amazing. Like, Terence and Philip are unironically my favourite characters in that show. Because, like, I say the most perfect bit of comedic timing, you've got to teach someone about comedic timing. 
it's in like um, uh, the South Park movie. <laughs> oh, no. But the South Park movie where it's them on like Letterman or something, and they're talking, and some woman just goes, "Oh, I do my own stunts or something like that." She yeah. just says somewhere like, and there's like a three second gap, and Terence just slaps her. And it makes me crease every time. So the, the, they wait the exact... Just the perfect amount of time. ...for the slap to catch you off guard. I hope people realise, you know, the joke I made. But, yeah, comedic time. What's the old one? It's like, what's the, uh, the element of comedy? Timing. As they talk. Yeah. And, you, and you wait as long as they do yeah. to say what. Wait, what? Oh, that's oh, a good God. shot. Wait, who the fuck's this? I don't recognise it. Oh, my, I forgot so much. Oh, yeah. These are from Kiryu Story. I don't recognise this guy. Always oh, because we're not playing as Kiryu. Like yeah, Kiryu. yeah. Yeah, but he's definitely from Kiryu. I forget his name, though. It's been like a good couple of months. Where the fuck is it now? Does he just secretly want Makoto? I think everyone does, like I said. Everybody wants this girl, and Majora's like, no. Oh, that's right, you know he's wearing a really nice suit as well. Ruin his suit. Oh! Oh no, my other eye! Oh, it hurt so much. Oh! So that was a very short chapter, but it was a, an action-packed one, it to was, say the yeah. least. I think the very least we can do is, because we've got uh, a shot we can find out about the next story. Because I think we should see that. At the very least, because... I completely forgot that the ends with just the explosion fades black. Yeah. Which I usually hate when stories do that because that, that was so out of left field, but then it makes sense of like, well, yeah, there's been a. Oh! We should probably skip this. And save it for next time. I'm going to call it a day. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, cool. Although it probably makes sense to like, you know, catch up, find out. Because you're going to forget all this by next just, week, aren't you? I am, yeah. So give me a reminder. You're like, in case they don't show it when we reload it back up. Because I worry that they won't. Yeah. So, here you go. I love that picture of Kiri. I want that on my desk. <laughs> it's so good. Maybe Kuze again. Oh, do you remember like, the fucking coolest fight? Look at that. <laughs> so good. And then Kiri just tastes like a man. You ready? Oh, they oh, missed it. Oh, no. can they cut out of that one? Oh, yeah, and then he's like threatening us in the club, yeah. And then Nishiki was gonna shoot him in the face. And okay. then Kiryu's just like fucking doing your pussy. Yeah, and he gets back in the car and drives back. So that was yeah. the last we saw of Kiryu driving back to the place where everyone wants to kill him. Look at that. He squares up to it like a boss. And then we made the joke if he just left him in the woods. Yeah. How's he ever gonna get back? He ain't got a phone. Bye. Left him crying in the woods. We all do, we've all been there. Crying alone in the woods. And the story is ensnared. These, okay. These title okay. cards are fucking strong. They are. What, what have you got? 